Come with me, everyone, and let's see what Food Town has to offer or not offer. Let's go. Yep, seems like I'm always starting in the produce section, but hey, that's how most stores are set up, depending on what side you walk in on. It looks like they have a fresh supply of produce over here in this store. Now we have a little section of meat here. Have your pork spare ribs here. Pork chops. Look pretty nice. Sausage up there. Bacon. Pork sirloin chops there. Have your roast. 638. Hey, that's not bad for that roast. Ground beef trays. Now you have your chicken. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Drumsticks, 317 for that little pack. Big Buck Corn, apple flavor. Have plenty of those for those who would need that. Dry beans, scoop them up, $1.19 a pound. Store those however you need to. Let me ask you all a question. Uh, is it possible to have too much food stored away? Is it possible? Have Goya here. They make pretty good canned goods. $1.99 a can. Here's a little section of noodles here. And if I'm not mistaken, this is on, I think, what they call the value aisle. Yeah, Vienna sausage. It's been a while since I've been into a food town, but I do know in food town they do have what they call a value aisle. Laundry detergent. Doesn't hurt to have some of that stored away. Keep your clothes clean. It's not like tied or, or gain, but it'll work. Dog food here. Have this Chlorelex bleach brand again, 233 a gallon. So if you don't want to pay the seven dollars or seven dollars and fifty cents for Clorox brand, see if you can find some Chlorelex brand or Chlorelin, I think is what it's called, Chlorelin brand. El Dorado. When I first saw that I thought it was dog food, but turns out it's tuna. It's just the name of it. El Dorado <laughs> made me think it was dog food. I'm not for sure why. So yeah, some of my favorite right there, Creole seasoning. Love to use that. Canned goods. Now we're looking at the rice. Rice is something that uh, I mean, there, on there, there are countries that all they have to eat is rice. You you all know this. beans here also dollar fifty five two pound bag oh then we have the twenty five pound bag of rice here Adolphus K 
keep about five bags of that stored up somewhere. Have your tortilla flour here. Just think about all the things you can make with flour, even tortilla flour. It says tortillas on there, but there are other things you can make with this besides tortillas. Pasta. Now this store didn't have a great selection or variety of pasta. But uh, they did have some. So yeah. Hold up, is that name brand? Oh, is that La Moderna? Hmm. Of course you have your more canned products here. Hominy. I don't think I've ever bought a can of hominy before, but wouldn't hurt to get some at some point. Now vinegar. Two main uses for vinegar, obviously. Obviously it's edible, but also you can cl definitely clean with it. I used to have a, a janitorial company, and we used to use vinegar to clean with. Now we have the, what I call the restaurant size cans over here. Maybe we should change the name from restaurant size cans to prepper sized cans. How about that? Plenty of tomatoes, diced tomatoes, tomato sauce, it's quite a bit seasonings there baked beans, black beans like when you walk in the store and you see all of this as a prepper you know if it's financially feasible for you you definitely want to take advantage of it yeah you don't want to wait till it till everything's bare you know some of those scenes and like the shows The Walking Dead where they go into old stores that haven't been no one's been in there for a long time and they find like two or three cans of uh, corn or beans or whatever. And it's all rusted out and don't it, not for sure if it's edible. You don't want to wait till you get to that point. Looking for an expiration on this uh, or best buy date on this Gatorade. They usually have them on there but on the smaller bottles but I don't see any on the bigger bottles. I've been noticing a lot of sports drinks flying off the shelves lately. Not for sure why but I'm sure they have the purpose, hydration and everything, canned meats. Tell you what, if you if you all haven't figured out by now, you you must invest in some cans of spam. You you're behind right now. Vienna sausage. Pretty sure somewhere there's some potted meat. chili now they have quite a bit of uh, noodles here like a lot over here coming up you have your chicken broth cooking stock look like there's some soups over there also canned soups 88 cents a can pretty good there go your canned soups again. Now they have another meat section over here. Meat is looking pretty good. And uh, let me ask you all another question. How is it that you all are storing your meat? Like are you making like some type of jerky out of it or what? Like, what are your plans for meat storage, long-term meat storage? They have quite a bit here. Turkey legs. Turkey wings, actually. Turkey legs right next to them. Chicken breasts. Now 
not bad, not bad. Like the more drumsticks over here, ground turkey. Plenty of toilet tissue. That's another one of those things you want to make. Always make sure you buy an extra pack. Because it's something we use every day. So, constantly need to up our supply on that bread. They're full of bread here. And for those who don't want to spend much money, they do have a less expensive brand right here. Family style, thin. I don't know if all stores have that less expensive brand, but this one just happens so happens to have a 99 cent loaf. Paper towels. Water. Now let me ask you all a question. Do you have more big containers of water, like gallon jugs or five gallon containers? Or do you have more bottled water? And why? Me personally, I think you should have a good supply of both. Because if you ever want to bunker in, that's where the big containers come in hand. But if there's a chance you may need to bug out, then guess what? That bottled water is going to be your best friend. Alkaline water there. Nestle. Two ninety nine a case. That's actually not bad. Glacier clear. Two twenty two a case. Yeah, plenty of water. Thankfully, right now in this area, there's no water scare. Can't forget about the pets. Canned dog food here. A little bit of gap right there with that to worry about. Gravy train. Yeah, these look uh pretty good for the pet owners. Purina one. Cat food over here. Meow, 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 meow. Plenty of bags there. Nine lives. I don't know why every time I see nine lives, maybe think of a politician. I'm not for sure why. Maybe think about politicians. So, those are. Some of the things that this food town location here has i believe they're pretty well stocked doing great with meat canned foods toilet tissue water they pretty much have everything you're looking for and maybe some name brands in there we're not familiar with but in the preppers preppers fantasy i guess you can say <laughs> They have everything you're looking for but if you have any food towns in your area hey let me know do you ever visit there i know that there are maybe well actually there are several around the houston uh houston and i believe dallas area also uh please let me know if you visit yours also please give the video a like please subscribe to the channel and as always get ready stay ready god bless